So, <laughs> you wanted to see it, you got it. Here's a, here's a neat deal. So, this retainer ring is just that. It's a ring that goes over the top of there. And look at that. The speaker goes in. I'm going to have to some finagling to get it in there. I had to. See the little, tiny little bubble right there? I can't hold that up and show it to you. I did have to heat right in there where this balance of the speaker goes down in there and push that out a little bit. Um, but she fits just fine in there. And from all appearances, this should go right back into place. I may have to take it off and reinsert it and screw it in in place. And of course, you already have the grill outside of that that's a couple inches out. I may have to uh, trim off some of the plastic there. I don't know yet, but hey guys, she works and she works fine. Even though it extends past a couple areas, it's still sealed. And uh, just heating that bad boy up just a hair right in there and pushing it from the inside out gave me enough clearance. It was just barely, barely hitting there, but it was gonna hit. It was going to give us, me a problem and maybe impede the performance of the speaker, uh, possibly. So I heated it, pushed it out, and here we go. And uh, for those of you who've been following a couple of my videos, um, these are um, Kicker, what they call OEM six-inch replacement speakers. And I think they're, again, replacement speakers for tower speakers, uh, towers for boats. So they do have the uh, RGB uh, in them, and I am going to hook that up. You saw a couple of my posts there. But I am thinking, worst case scenario here, worst case scenario, these come off. I disconnect the tweeter because the tweeter is already up on the post, and I've got better bass reflex in, uh, in these. But I have a feeling these may work out okay when it's all said and done. I'm going to get them in there real quick and see how it looks. All right, folks, here she is. Um, she went back in just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this back right here a little bit. I'm going to trim back up in here a hair. And then I'm going to take screws, and I'm going to screw right into this plastic here. It's not going to hurt the speaker. It's the rim. It's the ring. And those four retaining screws, like that was there from factory, are going to be used. And I'll just screw directly into the plastic. So that shouldn't be a problem. But she fits just fine. The cover goes uh, with plenty of room to spare. Cover goes over that with zero issues, of course. So do that and show you all. Look at there. So I will probably leave this tweeter in place, still use that with a tweeter, and I don't see any issues in there. So with a little trimming, these are going to go in just fine. I really believe so. I think the other side is, gosh, it seems to be almost identical as this side when I look at it. Seems to be the same depth. So I should be able to bubble that one out. We do have space in there for the bubble. So I should be able to bubble that one out as well and uh, and get that one in as well. I'm going to try to get to that maybe tomorrow night. It was a long night with church tonight and uh, just got out here afterwards playing around.